Alright, all set. Oh, the hoodie is back. And that is because it is absolutely freezing outside. So this is a part two of something like a three series kind of um, tips towards Premiere Pro. Um, the short and quirky little tips um, that I'm putting out uh, hopefully in the weekly basis. This is basically so that you might be on a different level to what I am. I'm as you know still learning and these are just to help you boost uh, your way into uh, or move forward in Premiere Pro and make your editing process in Premiere Pro a whole lot easier. Okay, so today we're going to be putting through two tips that will make you a better editor uh, within Premiere Pro. Okay so tip number one is uh, smooth scrolling as opposed to page scrolling. Now this makes uh, life a lot easier when it comes to editing. Let me show you how to do this. As you can see here if we were to, if we were to zoom in you can see that the timeline isn't moving. You can't see what is before what is playing right now and what is coming after. How to fix that I will just show you now. Just to stop this here what you want to do is uh, go to Premiere Pro, go to preferences scroll down into timeline a dialog box like this will come up and where it says you look page scroll you click that and you go to smooth scroll hit ok and now if you were to play this back what should happen is that the timeline on your project should also shift to the left as well and that makes editing much easier because then you can see what is coming after what you're playing right now as well and what is gone as well and this will help within your editing okay tip number two is one tip number two is gradually making bins on your left side of the project before you even shift them into the timeline the idea of color coding all your project files is making life easier when it comes to editing as well so when say for example you have uh, a lot of footage that you have just come back from a shoot and you want to put that together now you have different frame rates for example uh, 120 which is slow motion you have 24 frames per second you have some footage from your drone you have some footage from your GoPro and you want to put all that footage onto your timeline it'll be a real mess if you put that all once um, what you want to do is actually put that in your project folder let me show you what I mean within my bins that I have created now so if you look down here I've got the vlog I've got copies I've got music and sounds and I've got all my frames which are from 120p if I was to open this 120 I know that all the all the footage that I have within this folder within this bin it's all 120 if i was to open the one which says vlog i know that everything in here was the vlog meaning the tutorial or something along those lines which basically means me to my talking heads me talking i know that put any of this onto the timeline now i know that when i look down at my timeline i know which color coded uh, footage means what so let me just quickly show you how to color code all that let me just change my one quickly so if I also open up vlog here uh, we have at the moment magenta so if I was to highlight everything in vlog right click go down to label let's pick anything like uh, let's pick um, blue project files within inside the bin which says vlog are all blue now any moment in time as you can see here I know that the blue is the vlog it's me talking it so whenever I look down at my timeline I know that green is the audio maybe the yellow is 120 magenta could be the b-roll and that's how you can make editing a lot easier and a lot faster for yourself these are very small tips but make a very good and big impact when it comes to editing your workflow within premiere pro so hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you in another video peace